Now I'm going to pick all the Big 12 games for this week for week four in football. Number three, Texas at Baylor. Texas is favored by 14 and a half points. Texas didn't look so good last game against Wyoming. It was 10 all before they exploded for three touchdowns in the fourth quarter. And I know Baylor didn't look so good against Long Island either. They liked energy, but I think the energy thing is going to be better. Nothing will surprise me about this game, to be honest. And Texas fans, you got to be on alert here because this is the last time Baylor's going to play Texas as a conference member and probably the last time they'll ever play in a long time. With that being said, I think Texas wins this game, and it wouldn't shock me if they only barely win, or Texas blows them out, or even Baylor outright defeats them, narrowly. So that's just a precaution, and look at what you did last week against Wyoming. Baylor has kind of similar offenses when you look at Wyoming, so I'm just saying that. Number 16, Oklahoma at Cincinnati. Oklahoma's favored by 14 points. Oh, Cincinnati's got the chance to host the first Big 12 game. Unfortunately, I think they're going to lose. Give me Oklahoma. SMU at TCU. TCU's favored by 4.5 points. This is a pick on to me. It wouldn't shock me either way. But give me TCU. But it wouldn't shock me if TCU loses to SMU. I mean, that's the truth. BYU at Kansas. Kansas is favored by 7.5 points, and I know BYU is coming off of a road win against Arkansas. And Kansas is coming off of a closer game than it should be against Nevada. But give me Kansas to win. Texas Tech at West Virginia. Texas Tech is favored by 5.5 points. And I admit, I was wrong about the West Virginia versus Pitt game. I admit that. In hindsight here. Let's be clear about that. However, you need to find a way to pass the ball better. You need to. And Pitt's offense is worse than Texas Tech's offense. I mean, and under Neil Brown, Tech, West Virginia has never defeated Texas Tech. Never. And the best way for West Virginia to win this game is on the ground. I mean, and Texas Tech's offense is really hard to stop. And West Virginia slightly has the defensive edge here, but I would say they played Duquesne. They are not good. They're not good. And I know Pitt's offense is terrible, so. And I know Texas Tech didn't look good against Wyoming in week one. And Oregon in week two, but I think that they find a way to win this game. But Texas Tech got to be aware. You need to work on your road it, road games here under Joe McGuire. So this is a beware this uh, this type of game. Oklahoma State at Iowa State is the next game. Iowa State is fed by two points. This is a tough game to pick. Oklahoma State got killed at home by South Alabama. Look at the final score. And I admit, I picked Oklahoma State. In hindsight, I should have went with my gut, and then my gut was telling me South Alabama was better. And I tried to warn Oklahoma State fans about that game since the offseason. They didn't listen. Guess what? They didn't, that didn't happen. They didn't look good. And Iowa State lost to Ohio last week. And I picked Ohio to beat Iowa State. I was right about that. Man. Oklahoma State has offensive issues. Kind of like Iowa State. And the defense for Oklahoma State gave up a lot of points last week. To Arizona State. I mean to South Alabama. Who do I trust more, Mike Gundy or Matt Campbell? I have a hunch that Mike Gundy's going to come out and find a way to win this game. Give me Oklahoma State, but it wouldn't shock me. 
in the slightest. Sam Houston State at Houston. Houston's favored by 14 points. If Houston really loses this game, David Hogerson's in bigger trouble than he is. He got killed by TCU last week. And they lost a rice, a food product. Give me Houston a win. I don't think that's going to happen. Now, UCF at Kansas State. Kansas State's favored by 7 points. And I get UCF is doesn't have their best quarterback and John Rice Plumley, and I know Kansas State's coming off of of an, a loss to Missouri on a 61 yard field goal, but there's nothing you could do about it. Just tip your cap to them. It's hard to make that long a field goal to begin with. I think Kansas State bounces back and beats UCF before UCF plays at home for the first time as a Big 12 member. Anyways, if you like this content, like and subscribe, and see you guys later. Find subscribers, we're on the road to it. Let's go.